I, I've got to do that one more time. It's a short song. It's a short song, and it's it's from my old school. Um, Rayma, Rayma, Rayma in Oklahoma. Yes, Lord. No God is big as mine. Did you hear that this morning? There is no God as big as mine. There's no God as big as yours this morning. Amen. What a great, great revelation. <laughs> no God as big as mine. Amen. Uh, it's, 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 it's exciting to know that nobody can defeat our God. Okay. He is a God that's undefeated. Amen. He's a God that's always victorious. There's a, a song in Jamaica. He's always victorious. None, not absolutely none, has the ability to defeat him. Wow, 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 wow. What about you? Because he lives in you this morning, you are victorious. Because he lives in you this morning, you are more than conquerors. Amen? Now, in the song it says, we're going to put the devil in his place. Woo! Lord. Now, you see, we, we, we walk around so many times as Christians, and, oh my, something just shook. We walk around so many times as Christians, and the devil is putting us in our place, where he's telling us how to behave, telling us how to react, and we are reacting to him. Well, this morning, we're going to put him in his place. Ah, we're going to tell him where to go. We're going to tell him what to do. Because there's no God as big as mine. Whoa. Now, you know, my friends, um, God wants us. This is a season where he wants us to get out of the, what I call the doldrums. You know, the complacency. Too many of us are sitting around and waiting for something to happen. I keep saying the same thing over and over. And I think maybe people will think that I'm stuck, a, a record that's stuck. But I'm not stuck. I want us to get out of, of the, the, the way of doing things. We don't want to change. We want to just stick with what we have known. That has, Maybe it worked 50 years ago, but it's not working today. Look around your community. Look at how many young people are just sitting on the sides of the street. Um, look at what's happening. So many of them are no longer in uh, a local church. So many of them are no longer subscribing to faith in Christ. Why is it that the message 
The message is still true, but the message is not reaching some people today. And you've got to consider what's wrong. Is something wrong with the message or is something wrong with the method? Hey, glory to God. Is something wrong with the message or is something wrong with the messenger? My God. Is something wrong with the message? And I would say there's nothing wrong with the message. But the method and the messenger, I think there are challenges with both avenues this morning. Because we have too many messengers. We have too many messengers that somebody said it to me one day and I was very, very insulted and very upset. A very good friend of mine, uh, and I don't know if she watches, she hasn't said anything about watching, but her name is Juliet. And Juliet is from Trinidad. Juliet um, and I were good friends. She was attending Oral Roberts University. And uh, we were best friends at one point there in, in, in Oklahoma. And we were, I had, uh, we had gone out somewhere, I forget where it was. And I had come back to her apartment and dropped her off downstairs. And she, she bent down to the car window and she says, do you realize that the, the vessel, the vessel, when the word of God as truth, listen to me now my friends, when the word of God as truth is put into a vessel that's contaminated, it comes out on the other end a contaminated word. Oh my. When the vessel is contaminated, because if I have, let's say this cup was a funnel and there was a, a bottom here, an opening that something would come out and the cup was somehow contaminated with something. Everything I would pour into the cup would come out on the other end contaminated. And so I felt that she was talking to me. And as a matter of fact, there were some things in my life that needed to be corrected. And God used her to say something to me, but I was, I was angry. <laughs> I was so annoyed at her. So who does she think she is telling me something like that? But she was absolutely correct. She was absolutely correct. And I had to revisit my heart and revisit the things that I was doing at that moment in time. And I had to correct some situations because anything that flows out of me, God puts the right things in, but anything that flows out of me has unfortunately the um, opportunity to be contaminated by who I am, what I am, what I do, what I say, how I say it, how I do it. And so, my friends, I want you today to consider the vessel that you are. To consider the holy vessel that God has created you to be. To consider the righteousness that God has granted you <clears throat> through your faith in the blood, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Remember that it's not just you. But you are an opportunity for someone to hear from heaven. You are an opportunity, just like I am, for someone to be blessed by heaven, for healing power to come, for delivering power to come. <clears throat> and when we are already contaminated, we carry a level of contamination in the world. So I want to pray this morning that each one of us would confess our sin. Confess our faults today before Christ and ask him to cleanse us and to make us the pure vessel that we ought to be. To make us what we know God wants us to be. So that as the word of God goes through us, as the power of God is manifest in and through us, that there is no contamination, but there is a true release of God's power. <clears throat> I... I had a, an interesting vision this morning that I, needed, I wanted to share with you. Not that I need it, but I really want to share with you. I was in a building, I was in a home, and this is what I'm talking about now. That the Lord has spoken to me and has shared with me that I must reposition my mind and reposition my heart. And uh, because I know that there is something coming that's necessary 
for my heart condition to be right. You'll notice if you're on Facebook, you will notice that I posted something, maybe this morning I think, that Lord, um, I need justice for certain things and for the words that have come to mar our name and to, to you know, affect our reputation. But I have to release that to God. I have to say, you do God what your justice requires not what my mind tells me and uh, this morning as i was maybe partially asleep what happened was that i was taken to a home and it was a very large home and i was in one area of the house and there were shadows it was not people shadows i'm just talking about light there was not a whole lot of light throughout the house but I could see it was as if there were really no walls in the house. And as I looked throughout the house, uh, I, I could see that it was really, for all intents and purposes, empty. Then all of a sudden, a woman, that I, if I see her now, I would know her. A woman came up the stairs of this house and came around the corner of the stairs and came and sat in front of me. And she reached out her hands, and as she reached out her hands, I took her hand. And in my mind, I'm thinking, that's on the inside of me, I didn't say anything, but I'm thinking, God, is this of you or is it not of you? Because I had a sense that there was an entity, there was something there that was in the midst of all of this that was not something that was of God. And so I stepped away, I stepped away from the woman for a moment and I went back to the stairs that she had just come up. And at the top of the stairs I saw someone standing and as soon as they recognized that I had seen them, they ran um, like lightning down the stairs and went and stood at the bottom of the stairs hiding and looking up the stairs. When I saw that, I went and I, I bent over the banister, that's the railing of the stairwell, and I looked over and I commanded them to be subdued and I commanded them to not affect what God wanted to do. I came back to the woman and I took her hand and the vision dissipated. Now, I believe that the vision is telling us that there is a time now <clears throat> that we have to be ready and we have to have the foresight to understand the insight, the perception, to know when there is a negative influence in our midst because someone is coming for deliverance or someone is coming you know, to you, you know, for an answer to the prayer that they have been praying all these years. The woman that came was a, a light complexion woman. Um, she was probably, I would say, maybe about 160 to 170 pounds in, in weight. Um, she was probably about five, you know, 10, or maybe five, between five, five and five, 10. Not a tall woman, but not a short woman. And uh, she had a round face, um, very, um, a dark brown hair that was combed back and she sat there just looking at me, me still wondering what was it that I ought to do and was this a deception from the enemy? Good morning. And so I, I, I believe that this morning is a morning for us to recognize that the big God that we serve is setting us up for our assignments. He's positioning us for our assignment. You'll notice this morning, three hashtags that I've placed on the program. The first hashtag has been there before. A hashtag is the number sign or the pound sign. So you'll see hashtag revision. And you've seen this and I've spoke about it. But you also see this morning hashtag renew and hashtag restore. There are two things that I believe need to be done in our lives this morning. There has to be a renewal of the power, the flow 
of the anointing of God. And what that means is that we have to step away from the sin that has so easily beset us. You see, we are Christians. You see, we are children of God. But there are yet things that have held us in bondage and we need to release them. I am not any different from you. It may be a thought in my mind that's consistently there. It may be a habit that I have. It may be something that I've allowed to grab a hold of me so that I do it in excess and not in moderation. But this morning, this morning, let us renew. Let us ask God to renew us. Let us ask God to restore us. Let us believe that the blood of the Lamb shall again, shall again, if you remember in the book of Acts, if you remember in the book of Acts, the apostles prayed and there was a shaking. That was not the first occurrence in Acts chapter 1 and then going into Acts chapter 2 when the Pentecostal experience was first um, a major event in the earth. Um, that is not the one I'm speaking of, but subsequent to that, I think in Acts chapter 4 going into 5, you see where the apostles prayed. And as they prayed, it says the place was shaken. And again, the Spirit of God came upon these disciples, the very apostles of God. And this morning, I pray for a shaking. I pray for heaven to be opened unto us in a way that the things that have so easily beset us, the strongholds that the enemy has been put in our life, that has put in our lives, that he has placed there, that seem, even though we speak to them and we pray over them and they seem to be dead every once in a while, there seems to be a resurrection that takes place. My God, this morning, once and for all, I call for the death of addictions. I call for the obliteration and the annihilation, Father, of the sin that so easily beset us. I call this morning, Father, for a renewing of our mind, Father, that will bring us to a place, Father God, where we walk in holiness all the days of our life. Father, I thank you that sin would be far from us. My God, that sin would be unknown to us in our daily walk. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Prepare us, Lord God, as new wineskins this morning. Prepare us to receive from heaven, Father, an outflow of the power of God that is unparalleled in our life and unparalleled in the earth. Renew us, Jesus. Restore us, Jesus. Reconstruct us, Jesus. Mighty God, give us a new vision. Revision us, Lord God. Mighty one of Israel, we pray, Father, that today, Lord God, will be a day of renewal. My God, I thank you that our minds are renewed with the word of God. That our minds, Father, renewed Father God, with the presence of God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that our minds renewed, Father, with the faith of God. We thank you, Father, that our minds renewed, Father God, with the insight, Lord God, of God. Our minds renewed, Father, with the giftings of God. I thank you, Lord God, that this morning, like the Apostle Paul, Father God, like uh, Peter, Father God, like John, Father, the Revelator. And Father God, like James, Father, the brother of Jesus, the Apostle of God, over the city of Jerusalem. Father, that we would be lifted, Father God, into realms of glory, where, as Paul said it, 
we know not whether we are in our bodies or we are out of our bodies but we will walk mighty God with a revelation and an ah and a sense Lord God of walking in the spirit Lord God we might be men and women Lord God that have flesh and blood and bone father but we know father God that within us dwells a man and a woman that is a spirit in us dwells Lord God a supernatural man a supernatural woman and father God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth empower empower <clears throat> that inner man this morning father empower good morning good morning sister Sandra empower us Jesus empower us mighty God empower us Lord God to do the work of ministry Father God, let your glory manifest in this house. Let your glory manifest in the houses, Father God, which are our bodies, Lord God, the house, Father, that you have created to house the spirit of man and to house the spirit of God. Mighty God, this day we declare, we declare that our minds, Lord God, are the mind of Christ my God we declare that our eyes father God see what our father sees that our minds Lord God through our natural and spiritual sight Lord God we understand the gravity the depth Lord God and father God the cicatoria the significance of events around us in a greater way father because the Holy One dwells in us and has opened us up to great revelation and has opened up our, our minds and our inner man to great and greater understanding Lord God expand us increase our capacity father God to know increase our capacity to know increase our capacity to know and to move in the knowledge of heaven Lord God let the knowledge of the glory of God cover us Lord God as the very waters cover the sea let the word from our mouths Lord God be words seasoned with the grace of God let them be salt Lord God let them preserve Lord God as salt preserves let the word of our mouth preserve the life of a man a woman a boy or a girl let the words of our mouth father God enact Lord God the legislation of heaven let the words of our mouth decree and declare the will of God over situations and let us see them change with immediacy my God let there because of the words of our mouth let there be suddenlies that occur in the lives of our children because of the words of our mouth let there be suddenlies that occur in the health of those for whom we pray father because of the words of our mouth let there be suddenlies in the finances Lord God of our home and of those around us and let there be suddenlies Father God in the healing power that is manifest Lord God with those around us mighty one of Israel we declare this morning that we will experience more suddenlies Lord God we will experience more immediate kirapandush verindaba immediate responses to prayer <clears throat> father god we enact the legislative word of god right now in isaiah 65 where it says before we call you have heard uh, before we call you have answered 
and while we are speaking, you have heard. We enact that word right now in the atmosphere of heaven that is around us. We dwell in that atmosphere. We live. We live in an atmosphere of miracles. We live in an atmosphere of sudden manifestation of God's will, God's purpose, God's desire in the earth. We live in an atmosphere of the manifest glory of God displayed around us, in us, through us. Our very face shall shine with the glory of heaven as Moses shined with God's glory and God's anointing. <clears throat> we shall live in the glory. We shall walk in the glory. We shall forever manifest the glory, for we are the children of the Most High God. We speak right now into the realm of darkness, and we command light to shine in areas of our life, in areas of our families' lives, in areas of our family circumstances, where darkness has seemed to overwhelm the situations, the circumstances, the family members and friends and partners of our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, we light the very fire of the Holy Ghost in these places of darkness, and we command light to shine. Hey, we command light to shine. <laughs> Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we calibrate our sight. We calibrate our hearing. We calibrate the very words out of our mouth from our innermost being, Father. We calibrate them to be in total synchronicity, Father, in total synergy, Father God, with the rhythm of heaven that we see, Father God, through the eye of the Spirit, Father. We perceive, Lord God, through the eye of the Spirit, Father. We do not look at things from a natural perspective anymore from this moment forward, Father. We are in a renewed sight, hallelujah. We are in restored sight, mighty God. Like Adam, the first Adam, before he fell, was able, Lord God, to speak and to name, Father, things in the earth. So too, Father, we have the capacity to just see, to name, to identify, to comprehend. And Lord God, then Lord God, to handle the situations of life that comes to our knowledge through sight. We thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that this very morning, Father, our ears, Lord God, our hearing, Father, will not be limited to natural, Father God, hearing, Lord God, to natural sound. <clears throat> But we hear in the spirit, Father. We hear the angelic realm, Lord God. And we hear, Lord God, the voice of angels. We hear the voice of the spirit of God. We hear, Lord God, the very voice of the satanic world and the plans of the enemy are and will never be strange to us. Because before they come, we hear them. Before they come, we see them. Because you reveal to us, Lord God, the very ambushes of the enemy, Father, through our hearing and through our inner sight. Mighty God, mighty God, this morning, I call for a renewed man and a renewed woman, Father. 
I thank you, Father, for a renewed man and a renewed woman in the body of Christ that hears me today. I thank you, Lord God, that there is a key. There is a key of holiness deposited in your people this morning, Father. Father God, I touch them in the spirit and I release upon each one of them, Father God, a new wave, a new wave, a new wave, a pulsating wave of the presence of the anointing of God from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. The rhythm of heaven is the rhythm in which they conduct their lives. I thank you, Lord God. There is a sound. There is a sound. There is a sound. There is a sound that is being deposited in each one of them, Lord God. My God, they will awaken with a sound from heaven. They will walk, Lord God, with a sound of heaven. A sound, Lord God, that shatters glass ceilings. A, a sound that shatters brass doors and gates. A, a, a sound that shatters the work of the enemy, Lord God. A sound that emanates from the very heart, the very spirit of man. Father, a sound that reverberates, Lord God, like the men and the women that walked around, Father God. They are Pordan in Develé, Hermetesium, the walls of Jericho. And when they uttered a sound, the walls, Makar de Venche, Pel Eboban Shilekte, the walls fell, the walls disintegrated. My God, let there be a sound of heaven that is released from their lives that will obliterate, that will annihilate, that will, Lord God, shatter the walls that have kept them, Father, in bondage or shatter the walls that have kept them from their destinies. Mighty God, a sound, a sound of heaven heaven, Father. Ah, cardamanem de Vishlehai, brevostan andenium de Vinci. Mighty God, let there be a sound, Father God, that precedes the angelic forces that surround them, the angels that encamp round about the people of heaven. Let them see like the servant of the prophet Gehazi, as he saw when his eyes were opened and he perceived ah rabande isutil maharten sherintene that he perceived he saw that there were more with them than there were against them open the eyes of your people today that they see ikarda mandedish today that they see father god with the eye of the spirit Mighty God, let there be a sound, Father, that accompanies like the sound that accompanied the angels when they appeared in the heavens. Mighty God, Father, ah, Reboche, at the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, there was a sound that the, the shepherds heard. Yelobra fandobre shekerta. Mighty God, let there be a heavenly sound. Father, that manifests around us. Let there be a heavenly sound that manifests in our prayer. Let there be a heavenly sound, Father, Seko Brabashanda, a symphonic, Lord God, a synergy sound, a symphonic crescendo that destroyed, a Brashoko Babasa, that destroys, a Robo Shandara, that will destroy, Lord God, and shatter every weapon of the enemy that has been formed against your people. Feel in the high, do know. Revotion the Rababa Sata. For some, Lord God, don't know what it means to walk in the knowledge of heaven. 
But this day, Lord God, I ask you to recalibrate the very synaptic connections in their brains, Lord God. I ask you, Lord God, to activate cells that have never been activated before. I ask you, Father God, like our father, Adam, Lord God, had so much of his brain power available to him, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as they lay their hands upon their own heads this morning. I thank you for a release, uh, Lord God, of the anointing of God to reactivate, Lord God, uh, dormant places in our brain, dormant uh, aspects of our thought processes. This morning, God, let your people astound those around them. Father God, in the Dome in Father God, in the O Ete Rubosha, in the Word of God. Lord God, it is stated that when the Pharisees and the leaders of Israel, Father, heard, Father, the unlearned men that were with Jesus, they said, How can these speak with such eloquence? How can these speak with such authority? How can these exercise what seems to be such might and ability and power? But then someone said to them, they took note that they had been with Jesus. This morning, Father, your people here have been with Jesus. Right now, Father, I thank you that the Spirit of Christ is with us wherever in the world we are. That the Spirit of Christ is manifesting upon us wherever our geography has us. And right now, Father, there is a divine activation. There is a divine activation of new thought. There is a divine activation, Father, of areas of imaginations, Father, that carry us into, Lord God, a level of unparalleled faith, that faith, miracle, working faith that be manifest in and through your people as an apostle of the Most High God with all apostolic jurisdiction and apostolic authority, Father. Those, Lord God, that have partnered with us and those that join us, Lord God, in this prayer initiative, morning prayer live, and those, Lord God, that have uh, sat with us for these years and have believed, Lord God, that you have sent us, Father God, I release right now, Father, that supernatural ability of heaven for power manifestations of the gifts of the Spirit that have never heretofore, Father, been available to them, Lord God, through this apostolic presence, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father, that miracle working faith would fall upon them and flow through them. I thank you, Lord God, that the gifts of healings would manifest through them. And Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, <clears throat> that the gift of the working of miracles would manifest through them. Father, this, Lord God, is no ordinary day that you have ordained, Lord God, for it has been raining and raining and raining naturally. But there, Lord God, we know <clears throat> that physical rain is just an indication of ah uh, of dijamasil should they imna al yamna fen il ilam nahando it is just a manifestation of what is happening in the unseen realm there is a rain there is an abundance of rain there is an abundance of rain in the spirit that's falling upon my sisters and upon my brothers mighty one let the very skin tingle with the holy presence of of you, Almighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Uh, I ask you, Lord God, 
right now, Father, to open the mouths of the people that hear me, Lord God. I ask you right now, Father, to open their mouths and touch their tongues, mighty God, with the coals, with the very fiery coal of heaven. Lord God, and let their tongues come alive with the fire of the gospel. I thank you, God, that you will allow them to speak the oracles, the word of God with such authority. My God, I feel the anointing of heaven. Ah, Jesus, my God, your awesome presence in this room this morning. My God, move upon my friends. Move upon our partners. Move upon those, Lord God, across the nations who are listening and shall listen to this program, Father, and this broadcast today and the days to come. Bring them out of dormancy, Lord God, like you touched the tongue of the prophets of old, Lord God. Touch their tongues, Lord God. Arise, arise in them, Jesus. Eleitis, eleitis, eshua materdem in ava, eshua medes vilarim nevishele. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Fileshum arielem de eshua, ibrentovri bashkai. Ah, brams feste domile eshive. Like Abraham, Father God, the Father of faith, exercised faith, Lord God, and believed God. Father, beyond his natural body's capability and his natural body's capacity, like his very wife, uh, Sarah Sarai, believed God beyond the natural ability of her body. And in the season of life, they brought forth a child. Mighty God, right now, I thank you. Father, let it not be 25 years from the utterance of the word, but now, Lord God, I thank you that there is a suddenly, that there is an immediately, that there is a suddenly, and there is an immediately, Lord God, there is right now, Father, a point where this man and this woman, this young man and this young woman will begin to believe, to believe, to believe, to believe, to believe, to believe, and see the miracle hand of God. Mighty one, mighty one, mighty one, mighty one, mighty one. El Endurian de nom de veshe. I see. A cloud in your life the size of a man's hand and it's off in the distance but there is indeed a rain that's getting ready to overtake your life there's an abundant supply of the anointing of God that's coming up on you <laughs> there has been limits and have been limits that have stopped you from fulfilling purpose that have stopped you from fulfilling that which God had ordained for you from before you came out of your mother's womb. Because, <clears throat> some of you, uh, your mothers were told they could not have a child anymore. <clears throat> some of you came forth with great pain and discomfort. Some of you came forth and mothers died but this morning I declare that the will of God to have brought you forth in the earth is now initiated, is now commanded to be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every hindering force I subdue with the name, the power of the name of Jesus. You shall glory 
in the presence of God. You shall glory in the anointing of God. You shall glory in the ministry that God has called you to fulfill. Papa Eloli Baba Shika demanded Oboshe. Fidididi Baba Emrema Mama Baba Sekoda Daba Papa Sekundu Lobri Bashende. For he is God. He is our Father. He is the senior in all the things that we do. He is the Father of life. He is the Father that have birthed us. He is the Father of all spirits. And this morning, mighty God, let your spiritual flow. Yet Baba overwhelm and manifest the people this day. He shekundu rababa. Mighty God, I displace worry with faith. I display displace fear with faith. I displace poverty with faith. I displace anxiety with faith. Let faith arise in a way, Father God, that it will supersede any negative flow, any negative word, any negative impartation of the enemy in their life. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Sheko to Rababa se telebahai. Hire bobo shendarababa se te. Do it now, Lord God. 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 Flow to them, Father. As it is said in the book of Zephaniah, blow the wind of heaven across, Lord God, the landscape of their life. Blow the east wind and the west wind and the north wind and the south wind. Blow it across, Father God. Blow it across the landscape of their life. Let the restoring wind of heaven, Father God, bring the seeds of greatness. Let the restoring wind of heaven bring, Lord God, the seeds of the plantings of the Lord in their lives. Let, Lord God, the very restoring winds of heaven bring the clouds that carry the rain of heaven. Father God, hello, Baba, she ended at a vosete. Father God, let the winds of heaven that clear the landscape blow ahead of them, Father. Rebo shanda rabande, setondo roboche, bibabia sotolva, sherebean doreba, serebio silabai, ribishikarabando, yebosa. Do it, 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 mighty God. Do it, mighty God. Do it, mighty God. Do it, mighty God. Rebo shatala bahande. Mighty one, mighty one, mighty one, mighty one. Blow, Father God, you blew into Adam as, uh, Lord God, a lifeless form. Father God, you showed me this lifeless form laying there. You let this lifeless form stand before you. And this lifeless form, Father, you blew into him the breath of lives and you made him a living soul so now almighty god blow into the spirit lord god of every man every woman every boy and every girl that listens to this today blow a spirit father god of power and blow a spirit of might blow a spirit of courage blow a spirit of revelation the sevenfold anointing father of the spirit of god let it blow lord god according to the book of revelation written by john the revelator lord god and he speaks of the sevenfold anointings of heaven Father, blow, blow, blow and release the sevenfold anointing, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, the spirit of knowledge, mighty God, the spirit of power, the spirit of might, Lord God, the seven spirits, Lord God, that are around your throne, Lord God, that are, Father, that are the various attributes 
of the Holy Ghost. Let those sevenfold anointing be released in mankind, in your people. In the mighty name, in the mighty name, Ava Grace and over Annette, Yehe Shedo Lobos, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, ye, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, ye, this day, this day, this day, this day, mighty God. Let another Barenda Bosha, let not another day go by. Ilobo Bosha, Babande, Bebesha, Lobosha. That your people, that your people, uh, let not another day go by, that your people, Father God, don't experience. Let them know without a doubt, Lord God, that the grace of heaven has come. Let them know without a doubt, Lord God, that the glory of heaven ha has come. Father, those spirits that stand and walk, Lord God, in your very presence, Father, around the throne of heaven, declaring holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And Lord God, those 24 elders, Lord God, that throw their crown down before you, releasing and submitting themselves unto you, Lord God, this morning in light manner father we bow before your throne and we declare holy 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 is the lord god almighty great are you in the earth and great is your power displayed the lord god in your body in the church of the lord jesus christ in the earth mighty god Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. He robo shandala babasate. This is a day, Father. This is a day that glory shall fill the house. For glory has already begun to fill this house. Mighty God, this is your season and this is your time to move in your people. There is no God as big as mine. Father, as we leave today, as we end this broadcast time today, I ask you to touch. Touch the circumstances of life. Touch the finances of their lives. Touch, Lord God, the families that they pray for and the friends that they care for. Mighty God, Prevoce Meredesus Secan Mamandolobos. This is your day. Father, give them grace. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, have a wonderful day. And remember, there is no God as big as yours. There is no God as big as yours. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And continue to pray. Take some time now after we finish. If you have a few minutes, just sit with your journal, with your notebook, and make a note in the few minutes that you will sit. Make a note of what God says to you. Practice the presence of God. Five minutes, make a note of what God says to you. Don't jump up and just run. This morning, Make a note of what God says. Practice the presence of God. Christy, thank you for joining us. Christy McWhorter, thank you for joining us this morning. Michelle, Juliet, Lydia, thank you for joining us this morning. Gail, all of you, can't tell and can't call all of your names. and record what he says. May God bless you, my friends.